In this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to build a blog using Squarespace. I will show you what sections you need in your blog and technical setup in Squarespace platform. So make sure to stick around. To save myself time, I will be using one of my website templates, the one specifically designed for blogs. It has beautiful layouts and super easy to customize. You can use it too if you don't want to start it from scratch. It's linked in the description below. Let's get started. To log in to your Squarespace account, here you will see all the websites that are currently hosted under your account, or you can create a new website here by using Squarespace template, or you can start as a blank. As I mentioned, I'm going to be starting with one of my website uh, template, and here's the one. To the left, you're going to have all the navigation available, and to the right, you can be able to preview your website. And if you want to adjust styles, fonts, etc., just navigate to styles in the top right corner, brush icon, or you can also navigate it from the left navigation to styles. They both lead to the same uh, place. We can change colors, fonts, button design, etc. Once we click on the pages, you're going to see our main navigation menu. The same way we're going to see a main navigation here under our website title. We can hide some of the navigation titles if we don't use them in the not link section. And what it means is basically this page is just not visible to the regular visitors on your website and you have to provide the link to this page in order to someone to get access to it. Click on edit. This is our main header navigation, and uh, this is going to be the same for all the pages. We can customize our titles. We can hover over each element, like title, navigation, uh, a button over here, and we can customize them. Click the title, and we can upload our logo. We have an option to upload a regular logo and a mobile version. When somebody previewing your website on their mobile, they can see a different logo. I'm just going to type a blog name here. First, I'm going to just show you how you can create a blog page. I already have one, the main navigation plus icon in here. Scroll to the collection pages and select a blog page. You can select any of them. You can change the style later. Also, it's important to note that you can have multiple. So I have blog and this is the block number. You can have multiple blogs inside your Squarespace website, but uh, just note that they're not going to be connected between each other. If I hover over this page and click edit, I can edit this section and I can change a layout. We can also adjust column width, change the spacing between the elements and also the vertical spacing. We can also adjust the color palette, change it to maybe light. It's totally up to your preference. If you click on this blog content, you're going to see all the blogs you have published or all the future posts you're going to be publishing are going to be collected in here. Add a new blog is by clicking this plus icon. We just added a new blog post. We would type the name here. I'm just going to add some copy over here, copy and paste. We can also add different sections inside our blog. So for example, we can add an image gallery. Maybe we can add a button, we can add more text, newsletter, and so on and so forth. So you can build out your blog as you wish. Currently, this is a very narrow page. We can adjust the narrow medium and you see it's immediately have been adjusted and we have four option narrow medium wide and custom this text alignment is for our title select if you want it to center or to the left you can select the options if you want to show the categories if you want to show the date the author's name a profile when it was published etc once you customize all of that you can click save and that would just simply save this blog as a draft or we can hover over the publish, we can publish it or schedule this post. Um, I'm just going to click it save for now. Then the next thing we would want to do is hover over this three dots and click on settings. And this is where we can add an image and that's going to be a feature image for our blog. Add an image in our library. All the images that we have uploaded to this website in the past are going to be stored here. Here I can change this URL to be Squarespace blog. Currently our status is draft. We can publish it or schedule it from this menu. Then we can add different categories. Let's say category number one 
category two, etc. And just click save. Similarly to that, under the options, we can add tags, tag one, tag two, and the tags that usually should be keywords related to the article. And here we can also add some images, SEO settings that you should not ignore. This is basically how your blog is going to be visible to the search engines like Google and other search engines and click save. So let's just, if you want to edit your categories, hover over the block and this gear icon, navigate to advance and manage our categories. Currently, these are the categories that we have. By highlighting one of the categories, you can edit that category. You can type a different name here and click save, or you can delete that category using the delete button. You can do the same manipulation with tags. Also, if you would like to add some code injections specific to the blog, you can do it over here and click save. Now let's preview our blog. As you see, because we have not published this blog, we are not seeing it in a live preview because it's still in draft. It's looking beautiful. This is the way you would navigate all of your articles and manage all your articles inside this particular blog collection page. The way you can navigate to homepage and the way you can navigate there is by clicking on the logo of the website or um, we can navigate through the left navigation menu by going to pages and selecting the home page. Click edit and let me show you all the great sections this template has that can serve your blog that would be useful for your readers. First one is a carousel where you can feature your main blogs or the main articles that you want to share with your audience. Once we hover over the section, navigate to content and here we can change the title. Then our description is actually our showing over here. Read more, we can change the title of this button and we can also edit the link. As we proceed, we have another section which is a different categories. So this is a great section to feature all the categories that you would have in your blog. It obviously will depend on your industry, but this way the readers could navigate through the different categories. Here under the blog, we have our category beauties. If I click on this beauty category, it's only going to show me the blogs that are under this category. And it would create a particular um, link blog then category and then beauty. We can use this in our homepage to link to the categories. That was a beauty. So I'm going to hover over the image and click this edit link. You can add link to basically any blog, any image or button or text, basically anything. And I'm going to click edit and just paste this category in here. And I also want to do the same for our text. Click edit and replace this category and just click save. Now the image is clickable and the text is clickable. And if I click that, it will redirect the readers to all the blog posts inside this category. This way it's just easier for them to navigate the topic that they are interested in. And we have a button that links to all blogs if they just want to scroll through them all. And then as we proceed, we have another way to display our categories. We're giving them a little preview. I'm just going to show you how it looks when it's in a live website. We have a wellness category, and then we have one blog that kind of sticks to the top. This should be your main blog that has maybe your affiliate links or very important blog that you've written in this particular category. And then to the right, we have the rest of the blogs in the same category, just scrolling through. Hover over the summary icon and under the selected page we have selected our blog but remember um, we can have multiple blogs and I'm selecting the one that I've been using before but if you have multiple blogs just make sure that you select the proper one go back we can adjust this category instead of date posted we can use a category for example and see how it's changed to beauty inst instead of the date all the way down here under the filter, since this is the section is fully dedicated to the wellness category in our blog, under filter items, we want to make sure to select the category that is in wellness, just like that. We can also use this filter to filter our blogs by tags, not only categories. And click save. In this case, only 
the blocks that have a category wellness in them will be shown here. The next section that is great for the blog, it would be a newsletter. So obviously you want to collect um, as many readers as possible to share new content with them, to announce about your promotion, wherever that is. I think that all businesses should have an email list. It's a very great tool to promote your business. This is one of the ways we can utilize this section to promote our business. Then as we proceed, we have another category section, which is dedicated just to the beauty. Also, there is a section we can utilize by featuring products. For this particular section, I'm using just a regular gallery block. If you are uh, using um, Amazon affiliates or other affiliates, you can upload the images here and use this link to direct them to your affiliate offers. This is another great way to promote uh, the affiliates in your blog. Or if you do want to have your own shop instead of the gallery, you can actually feature your own products. It's the section that has all the post feature here and also it has a little introduction about the author of this blog a uh, great uh, area where you can introduce yourself we can navigate them to about you page if you have a podcast this is a great way to highlight your podcast but if you do not have it or planning to have it in the future all you have to do is highlight the save button and basically what it does it saves this section for later and we just want to remove it from here and if you want to use this section later on use this add section button and navigate to save section and here is the section we can always reuse it and this is the last section basically another section that could potentially be used to introduce yourself and to direct them to other articles you have once you're ready to publish it navigate to settings under the website, you want to navigate to site availability. And here you will have to upgrade to publish. In order for you to upgrade to publish, you have to select a source based plan that works best for your business. Depends if you want to have a shop or you just want to have a business plan. Once you have selected and paid your plan, you're going to be able to click this upgrade to publish. And that way your website is going to be live. I hope this is helpful. Thank you.